So I made this virtual classroom. You can have a whiteboard and furniture. You can decorate it, put a clock on the wall. Your bookcase can even have interactive items in it, and it's really easy to make. First, open a new Google Slides presentation. Add a new blank slide and delete the first slide with the text boxes in it. Next, control click or right click on the slide and choose Change Background. Then, choose Image from Google Image Search. Search on Wall and Floor Background. I'm choosing this blank white wall for this demonstration, but I chose the brick background for my own classroom for Create. Now we're going to go shopping for accessories and furniture. Choose Insert, Image, Search the Web. Type in Whiteboard. Select the one that you like by dragging it to your slide. Adjust its size and place it where you like on your classroom wall. A sofa is my next item. Be sure to specify with transparent background in your search. Otherwise, you'll get a big solid square around your item. I'm choosing one that looks comfy and will be at a natural angle for my floor. Adjust it for size and position. Next, I'm going to put me in. I've already created a Bitmoji of myself. You can do the same by downloading the Bitmoji app on your phone or tablet and creating your own. I've also added the Bitmoji Chrome extension, which gives me access to my Bitmojis here in my slides presentation. Since I want my Bitmoji to be sitting on my couch, I would search on the word sitting, but I already see what I want. I drag it over to my slide, but he's facing the wrong way. So I go up to Arrange, Rotate, Flip Horizontally. Then I adjust his size and position so he looks natural on the sofa. I also tweak the size of the sofa. I think I'd like a clock on the wall, so same thing. I just change my insert search term to clock, and I grab the one that I like. Now it's time for a bookcase. I want an empty one so I can put different items on it depending on the activity. To put a message on my whiteboard, I select the text box tool and drag across my whiteboard. I type in my message and adjust it for centering, size, and font. I'd like to put a plant in the corner to make things more pleasant. I search for plant with transparent background. I don't see what I like here, so I'll change my search term to potted plant. Now here's a cool bonsai. Let's try that. Whoa, that's huge. I adjust the size and see how it looks on top of the bookcase. Now I think I'll put it in the corner and save the top of the bookcase for educational items. There, I, I think that's about right. Let's put an interactive item on the bookshelf. Since I want my students to view a video about the space shuttle, I'll search for a rocket to symbolize it. So I search for rocket with transparent background. Wait, there's an actual space shuttle. How cool is that? I'll use that one. I drag it to my slide, place it on top of my bookshelf, and make it just the right size.
Next, I open a new browser window and go to YouTube to find the video. I approve the video for students to view and copy the URL from the Share button. Back to my slide presentation, I select the shuttle image and click on the Link tool. I paste in the YouTube link and click Apply. Now I add instructions to the whiteboard. I then download the slide as a PDF. As you see, it retains the hyperlink to the Space Shuttle video. You can use the PDF as a material or assignment in Google Classroom. Pretty cool, huh?